Okay, it's recording. So I'm not gonna edit this video. I'm just putting this up raw. Um, so if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Ella Jessica. I want you guys to watch this and feel like you're not alone. So I'm gonna kind of give you a mental health update, where I am, what's been going on, what my plans are and things like that. So the last sort of year has been insane um basically me moving out having a mental breakdown ha learning to have seizures trying to deal with that getting back into college and uni um finding my birth family getting in contact with them getting on with all four of my siblings or well all of my s seven siblings yes there's a lot of us um going on adventures finding my feet there's just so much that has happened over in a year and honestly people who I live with people who know me and see me daily are like oh my goodness what's happened to the Ella we all knew so I'm gonna as quickly as I can sort of go through it all I've tried to film this on my phone just normally a the camera looks better on here for some weird reason and b uh I just would rather do it this way and I can upload it straight to my channel so that's what I'm going to do so I ended up having a breakdown pretty much a year ago um in September it's not quite September but we're getting there so I'm just gonna count it as September was it August September yeah it was August September I had a breakdown and it was one of the hardest times of my life I honestly wasn't sure where I was going to end up, where, what my life was going to turn into, where I'd be, it was so weird for me because it wasn't the Ella I knew and this was an Ella that scared a lot of people, it scared myself and honestly one of the hardest times of my life and I've been through crap i will be honest with you guys i have been through so much more and i don't want this to sound like i'm exaggerating but i have been through so much in my 18 years of life a lot more than a lot of 40 year olds would have gone through in their entire life so you can put a ton of crap on me and i deal with it pretty much but I think a combination of everything just got the better of me and my body went and my brain went, nah, you know what, sod this, I'm not dealing with this and went into breakdown mode. And so I managed to come out of hospital, I was put on some really horrible medications and in the end they led to seizures which meant I was being rushed in, in and out of not our well basically where i live is in the middle of two hospitals to the hospital that i was under for neurology and they basically in the end i whipped myself off those meds because i knew exactly what was causing them and they said to me okay yep if you're not having them anymore then it is that that's what, what's causing it i was like okay um, but to find out not that long ago that I've been having vacant episodes again, which is brilliant. Love having them, Nat. Um, but I've only had two in the last, um, like, three weeks, which is perfect. Like, I can cope with small amounts of them. But now I know what triggers me, it's stress. And when a lot of things are going on at once, my brain just goes into shutdown mode. So I have been seeing my therapist again over the last year. We have, he has worked his butt off with me. And yes, it's not all just him. I've had to put a lot of work into it myself, but he has encouraged me. He has, he hasn't given up on me when a lot of other people would have like my consultant, which I honestly, was flabbergasted with it i could not believe my eyes when everything had calmed down with me having my mental breakdown they then thought a lot of my me was linked with my mental health and i was like 
no i've had mental health way 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 before my chronic fatigue and the reason my depression started was because of my chronic fatigue like honestly look at it in the bigger picture so i was kind of like shocked and i had a couple of meetings and the last meeting i had i basically put the law down and told them straight they tried to deny that the medication they put me on was causing the seizures which obviously they would try and do that and also um they basically tried to tell me that they've done everything they can and i turned around and was like guys no you haven't Craig has done it all and honestly I was straight with them um I don't I will say it how it is I can say if in a sweet way if I want to but I kind of turned around and was like don't give me this shit um because I was not I, I was not gonna deal with it but anyway um so I've been working with Craig he has been working with me very hard to get my chronic fatigue kind of stable i feel like in the last month or so it's not been but i do have my little um excuse which craig would say you always have an excuse for everything ella and i'm like yeah i know i know but i do have a general excuse and he knows it i have been shenanigans all over the place i have been to doncaster sheffield um to see my mum multiple times and it's about a four hour bus journey i have been doing adoption youth panel i've been doing hospital appointments i've been doing seeing friends honestly going to church all sorts it's just been a wide mixture of everything and i have struggled to process it all especially when you're getting to know excuse me Especially when you're trying to get to know a whole new family, when you're trying to lose weight. There's just been a lot go on. Um, and I feel like I haven't been able to keep you all up to date without doing multiple life update videos. So this is why I'm just going to throw it all in here. So yes, I have been transferred from the kids um, paediatric team for chronic fatigue to the adult pe adult team not really sure what their name is but the adult chronic fatigue team i have also been given some good news that i have been accepted and i think i mentioned it in a vlog that not that long ago that i've been accepted on a course for chronic fatigue and pain management which is perfect i am looking to go back to college to do my maths and english i was very very ill when i took my maths and english with chronic fatigue but at the time there was no diagnosis so there was no extra advanced years to being ill and i kind of didn't know how to deal with my condition at the time but now i kind of do but i don't do what i need to do to help myself i know right but anyway and then to go to uni and do an online uni course the reason i've decided to do it this way around is because a my concentration spam is pretty much goldfish I get bored very easily, hence why there is still a pile of washing on my floor that's been there for like two days because I start folding it and then I throw it back in the pile. Yeah or no. And what else? It means that when I've got hospital appointments and I'm travelling and things, if I want to continue travelling this year, because at the moment I'm bloody loving it. I love travelling all over the place. Um, I can take it with me and I don't have to worry about I can't do it here or here and hopefully also when I see my new consultant in London I will hopefully have the thumbs up to go back to work I feel like I want to go back into work I feel like I want to do something and I think that's why I'm traveling so much at the moment because it's keeping me occupied it's keeping me busy and I kind of enjoy it a lot so yeah and i can meet so many new people i've met a whole new family and it's been very very overwhelming for any person walking into that situation if you've got lost long family members if you've been adopted or you've been um fostered getting to know your biological family is such a hard but most joyful experience i've struggled to embrace it all meeting new siblings that i've never met um getting to know 
like grandparents and great grandparents and aunts and uncles it's like my brain has sort of kind of gone on overload but it doesn't mean that I don't love my parents my adopted parents any less I see how much they've given me over the years and I wish they would just see me for who I am now and stop looking at the old Ella because the new Ella is more determined and more passionate no matter what doing things yes I'm going to trip up over time yes I'm going to make bad mistakes yes there are still diagnoses that I'm trying to embrace and I'm trying to understand and it's something that I've actually gone right you know what from today or yesterday because it's 3 33 in the morning yes I'm crazy um so on the 20th of July I thought you know what I know what I can work with with Craig while I've got that why don't I work with my new diagnosis and the thing like why do I do things the way I do things how could I improve that how could I stop myself from doing things like that I'm one of those people who because of my personality I do things out of the blue I'm quite spontaneous I don't think before I do things I kind of just do it without thinking first and it can cause me quite a lot of drama and trouble and it's not like it hasn't done in the past because it has but I feel like over the last sort of month or so I feel like actually this is something I want to work on I was reading a book quickly in my bag where is it hang on hang on hang on where's my book gone it's here called my anxious mind i have oh like annotated important things like uh you control how much things affect you um and it was just so powerful i've still got so much of this book to go through but the first couple of pages i read and i was like oh my goodness it makes so much sense so i definitely want to try and educate myself more about mental health physical health and just being more positive and uplifting which i'm quite a positive person um a lot of my friends know i can take so much on my shoulders i can't remember if i mentioned this earlier so much on my shoulders and i basically put a smile on and get on with it and i think a lot of people don't realize actually deep down that i'm struggling um, so when I do turn round, excuse me. So when I do turn round and say, "Look, I'm struggling," people don't think I am because they're so used to seeing the brave Ella, and I can say it with a brave face on. I can, I put this mask on. I put this different identity on, um, and that's something I want to work with my therapist about. To say, actually, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay. Um, to struggle it's okay to have to lean on family members it's okay that yes my life feels such a mess but I'm not the only one going through it because it does suck life is not always easy life is bumps along the way and I've definitely learned that over the last few years I have watched different families on YouTube um, and them having adopted kids and their own kids and seeing this perfect family and I'm like oh, I wish I had that and I have to think no you know what something I've learned in the last month is how grateful I am and how blessed I am I have been really finding it therapeutic and amazing to go to my calm place and that's going to church I never thought I would be one of those people I've grown up with Christian grandparents and I never thought I would like go down that route but over the last few years I really realised that things happen for a reason and the other day I got prayed and um, I got blessed and it was one of those things where I was like I want the pain to go away I want myself to have good news when it comes to medical health good news about something and two weeks later I found out that I'd been accepted on this programme and I thought, you know what, this couldn't have come at a better time. I needed this. 
I felt like I was going round in circles. I felt like people were giving up on me when I wasn't giving up on myself. I fought and I will continue to fight the battle. Um, so if any of you guys are struggling with mental health, either drop me a message, drop me a Instagram message um, and I will reply. I'm here to help you guys as well. In no way, shape or form am I a professional but I have lots of tricks and tips up my sleeves to deal with certain things and how to move on. I have helped my closest friends get the right support for them and it took 10 years 10 years to reach out and ask for help regarding my own mental health and anxiety five years ago i would have never ever thought i'd be living on my own traveling the uk on my own i thought that was insane i thought doing the tube underground was scary i do that now with no problem at all i feel like i've got no fear i've built up that confidence i'm looking for adventure i'm constantly wanting to find out more what's going on what is there to do i am so excited to go up to sheffield after my experience going up to doncaster that set me back that knocked my confidence and i was like oh okay that was not enjoyable um and i'm hoping that I go into this experience feeling so much happier, so much brighter, and I do. I feel it's like, you know what, I know what we're doing, I know that she knows that I have a condition, I know she can drive safely, and that she's not going to park miles away where, honestly, I would struggle to walk. I have been very slowly building up my fitness and i have been loving it i've been loving it being able to walk a lot more and i'm hoping this is the road to recovery it's just ensuring that i don't do too much on that note i should probably head to bed because it is half three in the morning and the sun is about to set or oh, come up sun sunset sunrise some sunrise is going to set and also set the sunrise is going to shine in other words and i also need to read a little bit more of this book i kind of want to dig into it um it is so helpful and if you want me to i might even do a video talking about anxiety and how i've dealt with my anxiety um because i've learned over the last few years some amazing tips some amazing tips from my dad some amazing tips from craig and learning to push yourself and also some tips and tricks from this book that i want to share with you guys and things that i haven't learned so i'm definitely going to do a review of my anxious mind when i get around to reading it i'm hoping that i can read a lot of it when i go up to sheffield because i've got a two-hour train journey so i'm hoping i will have enough time to read it then but on that note i'm going to love you and leave you have a wonderful weekend and i'm sorry that there has been no vlog i felt really bad that i didn't upload that's why i'm sitting down and doing this video now um and i will sort the thumbnail out in the morning when i've woken up um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll see you very soon for another video bye guys